the, the final moments before you landed that Superman punch? Leading up to that, it was uh, I was just starting to find my rhythm. Um, it's so hard to find somebody that's 6'11 to, to try to spar with and, and find range and all that kind of stuff. So it was definitely an adjustment that I had to make during the fight. Um, but uh, one of the things that I noticed is every time we'd separate, he'd try to come in with one of those knees. And, um, and I, you know, probably about two, two combinations before I actually landed, I was thinking about it. And then I heard my corner yell it, and, you know, the, the, the rest is history. So. How satisfying was that? Oh man, it was so great, especially after the Congo fight and coming to a, to that draw. Um, you know, looking forward to, to this fight and showing showing people what I what I can really do in this weight in this heavyweight division. Um, and and to, to know that you know Mr. Dana White and Joe Silva believed me to, to put me out there and, and fight a guy like Stephen Struve. I'm constantly looking to move up. Um, you know, Mr. Joe Silva, Dana White, they've done such a good job with me for my past three fights that uh, I, I just leave it in their hands to to uh, you know, continue doing their job. That was a big win for him tonight. Big win. Definitely uh, definitely puts him in the mix. We clinched up. I really realized how, because um, you know, he put on some size and stuff like that, and, and being being training partners with like uh, Phil Davis and Brandon Barra and even Joey, you know, Joey Beltran, those, those guys are strong, man. But once I clinched up with him, I realized how, how I, that was my, um, that was my strength, you know what I mean? And so we clinched up, took him down, um, you know, beat him up a little bit. But um, no, nah, I mean, the first round, uh, you know, I think that's my style, is just coming for you. You know, like I said, my pre-fight interview, I'm, I'm coming, coming fast, coming hard, you know what I mean? So it, it's, that, that's, my, that's my style. After your fight, you mentioned uh, a name of somebody that yeah. you were taking the fight to. But can you tell a little story about what that was all about? Yeah, his name's Rick Martin. Uh, when I, I kind of had a, had a tough time, you know, coming out and um, right out of high school, um, I was basically out, basically out of my house, and, and they took me in and, and I, you know, let me stay with them. And um, Josh Barton, who's his son, is one of my best friends, and, and him and his family have been like a, like an adopted family to me. And um, this last year he's been going through like, uh, I think it's called like neuropathy from, from like adult onset diabetes. So he's like constantly in pain and, and uh, you know, you just see him kind of, you know, struggling and stuff. So I wanted to dedicate this fight to him, and especially with that knockout.